Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm from Team 7480, the Machine Mavericks. And in this first episode of our programming series, we're going to learn how to make a simple PWM tank drive using WPI Lib. So the first thing we need to do is install WPI Lib if you haven't done so already. So we'll be doing this on a Windows machine. I have open here the documentation for WPI Lib. And the first thing you have to do is install it from GitHub, the installer. So do that if you haven't done so already. And then in your downloads file, you'll want to extract the folder that you just downloaded. And then inside the extracted folder, you should see the installer. So you click on that to run the installation. Doesn't matter if you install for all users or just the current users, but I'll do it for all. So then, for the majority of you, you likely don't have VS Code already installed. So what you'll do in that case is press select slash download VS Code. Press download. Once you've downloaded it, you don't want to press open downloaded file. Rather, you press execute install. Now, once you've successfully executed the install, you'll be prompted to use the desktop icon to open VS Code. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's important that you use the desktop icon that says FRC VS Code 2020, because in the case of this computer, we also have Visual Studio Code installed. But if I run that, I won't have the WPI libraries and functionalities. So I'm gonna do it from the desktop with the W icon instead. Once you've opened VS Code, you should have this welcome menu. And from here, we're going to press the newly installed W in the top right hand corner to open the WPI lib command palette. And we're going to create a new project. So the order that my commands show up here might be different from yours because they show up from most recent. But so you might need to type in create new project. And then you'll get this menu. So we're going to choose an example project. We're programming in C++, and then you're going to do tank drive Xbox controller. That's what we're programming today. And then you select the directory that you want to put your project in. I'm going to put it in FRC projects. And if you have this button checked, you don't need to create a new folder for your project. It will do that for you. And we're going to do tank drive. It's going to be our name. And then team number, you can enter that in for yourself. So then we're going to open it. And then this is the menu that you'll see once your code is generated. So you go to the left hand side, open the source folder, and then your code will be in robot.c. So this is the code that we just generated for the PWM tank drive that runs two motors. If you want to make sure that it works, you can compile it. So what that does is it takes the code that you've written here or that you've generated and it translates it into machine code that your computer can understand. So to do that, we press the W and then we press build robot code and that will compile it. And hopefully once you do that, you get this build successful message. And if it's successful, then you can try deploying it to your robot. And to do that, you would connect to your robot's internet network. And I don't have a robot right now, so I can't do that. But similar to the last two steps that we did, you would press the W icon. And then instead of building the code, you would deploy robot code. And then it would build the code and then deploy it to the robot. So that's it. Congratulations on making a drivable so that's it. Congratulations on programming a drivable robot. This is likely not the code you'll compete with, but it's a great start. And stay tuned for our next episode where we'll be learning about source control and GitHub.